the topic that we are going to discuss today is operations on matrices basically we perform four types of operations in matrices when we say four types please don't say that addition subtraction multiplication and division from primary onwards what we studied no in matrices we perform four types which are those four types first is addition of two matrices subtraction of two matrices multiplication of a matrix by a scalar that means by constant and at last we have multiplication of two uh, matrices let us discuss on first topic addition of two matrices let us take matrix a and matrix b generally matrix a is represented by a of ij and matrix b is represented by b of ij whenever we do matrix addition of matrices first thing we should keep in mind is both the matrix should be of same order let us take m cross n if it is this if this a matrix is m cross n b matrix should also have the order m cross n because in matrix when we add, when we do addition in matrix both the matrices should be of same order then how do we add this two matrices we add this two matrices a plus b and we'll get a resultant when we add this two matrices we'll get one resultant matrix called c and what is this c the elements of c will be of c of ij where c of ij is equal to a of ij plus b of ij so when i say all these things you may getting confused so there is a matrix a and b both are of same order and when we add together we will get another one new matrix let us say there are two friends ashwin and uh, joy so whenever they sit together one is making uh, some uh, what is called lemon rice another one is making some uh, curry huh? so what they will do towards them they will mix together lemon rice and some curry giri etc and they will make something called kichdi so the resultant product will be something called kichdi so same thing is happening here so there is one product a here one product b here when those two products combine together we are getting one new product as c huh? so the elements of c always it means it is the sum of the first elements matrix with its corresponding second element matrix when we do one example you understand let us take one example matrix a is equal to 1 2 3 minus 1 0 5 and matrix b is equal to minus 2 0 1 4 3 0 now let us do a plus b so what happens 1 corresponding element plus of minus 2 2 plus 0 3 plus 1 so next i am doing again minus 1 corresponding element is 4 plus 4 0 corresponding to 0 is plus 3 5 plus 0 so when we add we are getting a new matrix so 1 Plus into minus minus one minus two is equal to minus one. Two plus zero is two. Three plus one is four. Minus one plus four becomes plus three. Zero plus three is three. Five plus zero is five. So see our resulting matrix is a new matrix. So addition is nothing but when we add, we should make sure both are of same order. and you have to add the corresponding element with the corresponding element of the other now we will study some of the properties of addition in matrix when we have matrix addition there are some properties let us study what are those properties first is commutative property
what is commutative property that is a plus b is equal to b plus a if you do anyway you get the same answer let us prove this consider a plus b i told elements of a plus b is written as a of ij plus elements of matrix b is written as b of ij when when to how do we add two matrices by adding their elements so by the definition of matrix we are adding two elements a of ij plus b of ij so by the definition of matrix addition and we are adding corresponding elements so what is happening here see we when we add two elements we get only numbers we are numbers etc we know that addition of numbers is commutative so a of ij is equal is also equal to b of ij plus because elements are mainly numbers so commutative property holds good for real numbers and integers so i am splitting it again so b of ij plus a of ij what is b of ij is equal to b matrix plus i matrix here a plus b is equal to b plus a so in in matrix when we add two matrices the commutative property gets satisfied similarly there is something called associative property what is this associative property a plus b of plus c is equal to a plus of b plus c same thing let us take the first part of it a plus b of plus c same thing a of ij plus b of ij let us use flower bracket here plus c of ij since matrix addition i'll put it together a of ij plus b of ij plus c of ij since this is also matrix addition i am putting it together a of ij plus b of ij means these two are together as one let us take it as matrix c and uh, sorry matrix x and matrix c so this is matrix x so this is a this is b this is c now this let us take this a plus b as something called x so this is matrix x plus c of ij we know that associative law holds good for numbers real numbers and uh, uh, real numbers so we can change the brackets so what i am doing is a of ij plus b of ij plus c of ij because associative law is holds good for uh, real numbers this we already studied in our primary class high school classes so i am splitting again a of ij separately and b of ij plus c of ij so when you write like this what happens a plus b of c c a plus b plus c is equal to a plus of b plus c so associative law is satisfied in uh, matrix addition when we do addition in matrices associative law satisfies commutative law if you add a plus b also will get same answer if you do b plus a also will get the same answer same thing with regard to uh, addition if you do a plus b plus c we will get same answer if you do a plus of b plus c also we will get the same answer then there is something called identity property that is if you add something to a matrix 
you will get you get the same matrix huh? if you add something to your matrix you will get the same matrix what when you add something to a what will you get as answer a zero if i add uh, one here it become a plus one if i add zero only i'll get the same answer as a so zero is the additive identity of matrix addition in matrix addition the additive identity is zero there is something called inverse property in matrix addition that is if you add something if you add something to matrix a you will get zero you will get identity uh, identity element of matrix addition that is if you add something then you will get a zero as the answer what you should add minus a then only you will get a plus a minus a get cancels so this minus a is called as negative of a matrix minus a is called as a negative of a matrix and how do we get this negative of a matrix simple a is equal minus a is equal to multiply by minus 1 a into minus 1 multiply matrix a by minus 1 then you will get a negative of a matrix so the identity property that is additive identity is 0 and multiplication inverse identity is minus a and how, what is minus a minus a is nothing but negative of a matrix if a matrix is given and if you say minus if a is a matrix the negative of a matrix a is minus a and how do we get this minus a multiply the given matrix with minus 1 and we will study how do we going to multiply minus 1 in the next coming video